Away from this, commercial drivers operating within the Federal Capital Territory, FCT, are expressing dismay over a notable decrease in passenger patronage during the Salah break. The drivers pointing to financial constraints and shifting commuter preferences as key factors contributing to the decline have this to say. Let's join our FCT correspondent, Naomi Oleribe, who was at Utako Park and now reports. Otako Motor Park in Jabi is reputed as one of the busiest transportation hubs in Abuja. Today, the park presents a stark contrast to its usual bustling atmosphere, despite its reputation for experiencing heightened activity, particularly preceding public holidays. Speaking to ADBN, drivers voiced their concerns regarding the adverse impact of the low turnout on their livelihoods, highlighting the challenges of providing for their families amidst dwindling incomes. They shared their disappointment at the unexpected low number of passengers during what is traditionally a peak travel period. Africa. But no way to go. There's no person here. Look at where you are staying. Me, I have a car. I cannot travel. Look at all these, all these people here. They are drivers. No person here to travel. Last year, all this place is empty. All this car, all year is empty. No, they really reduced drastically. Last year, we are very happy here in this line. We are loading one car and the other. After the one car, the other, we are loading. Everything was going on smoothly. We thought this year will be more better because in anything we are doing in life, we, we may pray for the better one. So we are, like, this year will be better. But to our greatest surprise, look at this local jar line. I think this is the fourth. This is the fourth car that is loading. And look at this uh, after one or so. This is the fourth car. But by this time last year, we have about 10, 15 cars that has you know, gone to Lokoja carrying ram. Uh, tomorrow is Salah. We, can, we are carrying ram on the uh, top of our vehicle so that they can play safe with them. Do you understand? But like this year now, do you see any ram? If you look around now with your camera, you can't see any ram anywhere. Some of the drivers attributed this downturn to a combination of factors, including the recent surge in transportation fares following fuel price hikes and commuters' growing preference for alternative transportation options over designated parks. Some of the bears say the money too much. Some they, are, they complain. Some do not even enter motor here. They will say they are going to the bodies and that. Then the customer they are coming this this year and last year, you know, this year is not that we have to have no much customer because anybody want anybody want to travel is a calculation, not like before because of the fare costly. Any 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 passenger because before my look, check a look at the park, it's very dry and very fallacy, it's not like before. I'm on, now we don't sound what I'm mean, a passenger that are not much seriously passenger that are not last year. Last year last year if you see the passenger here, you just frustrate. If by this time that's not by cool. Meanwhile, passengers expressed frustration over the escalating costs of transportation, which they attribute to the broader trend of rising living expenses. Especially this festive period. Uh, if you compare last year to this year, I remember last year when I wanted to go to Kaduna from Javi Garage, the crowd, I can't, I, I can't even enter motor from here. I have to move to Amabushi. Why? Because People find it very simple to travel compared to this year. The price is too high. I came from Kano. By the day that I come, I finally uh, fed six, 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 seven thousand. But now I'm paying fifteen thousand going back to Kano. So the thing is, no, is paying us, not only me alone. Both drivers and passengers alike issued a call to the federal government urging policymakers to devise strategies aimed at alleviating financial burdens and improving the standard of living for residents. Naomi Oleribe, ADBN News.